this morning homegrown watermelon for the kids. Can you hand me this stuff out? Today is a big day on the farm. We've been given our grass, a rotational daily grass system, a two weeks rest to give it a little more time to beat up. We've been going, beat up, grow up. We've been going a little too fast. Cause this heat lamp is off. That's okay, I turn it off because the, the floor is so warm, they don't need it, it's too hot. Let's get some pine grit in here for them. Yep, if they fill this up, you can give it to them. You gotta let some come out and then you move over. See? Good. You got it. Okay. Here, yeah, set it in. in. Mm hmm Good job. Gideon, are you going with? Okay. Alright. Then come with after you are done, okay? So give our grass a break. We've put them in the sacrifice paddock. It just so happens to need more nutrients, which means it's gonna get the the hay they didn't need a lot more manure. So we're building up this area, but it's time to move. Daily rotational grazing is best. We gotta move the chickens first. Okay guys, we'll be back for you cows. We gotta go set some things up and do some chores. Look who's here. Come on in guys. Look, this is the pasture. This is where we were gonna go, but we decided to give it two weeks rest. It has, it recovered more. We used to only have a few of these 18 inch tall clovers. Now they're everywhere. Look at this patch. Boom. Huge. Now I have to decide. This is definitely two. Can it be three days? What do you think? Three. You think? If we could get three out of it. This paddock's hard to split in half because of Remember we're following them with two steers yeah. and five sheep too. But yeah, it's, it's, it's easy to split in half. It's harder to split in thirds. So maybe if we shot from that corner and did a pie, because this is kind of a triangle shape. You did one there. Divide this up into thirds. I bet you could do it. What do you think, Jonna? Yeah. Two. Three. Jonna thinks two. I'm kind of starting to think that as well. It was probably only going to be one two weeks ago. Now it's certainly two. Almost three. So. Where do you think the line should go, Jonah? Right here? Yeah. So divide this up evenly, right here? Yeah. So do a straight line as you can. Get the grass clippings. Under here, he's going to make a way for a net. We're actually going to try something new today. If we could do nets for everybody, we could move closer to Joel's suggestion of actually getting rid of the lanes and being able to occupy those lanes as pasture. So I'm thinking, we definitely want to try that before we get rid of our lanes. But that would mean, guys, that would mean we wouldn't have this perimeter fence. There'd be no making sure it was hot. All we'd have to do is... Lug a huge energizer around. No, because there would be one for each fence. And then you'd only have to move one energizer every time. And it doesn't have to be a big one. All right, if we're going to take this down, let's go get a spool. Arun's already on it. He's already taken up posts. He don't, he don't let any moss grow under his feet. I'll go get a spool. Man, you guys are good. You already got up all the poles. This is one good thing about not having that perimeter. We can go wider. We can go right through here. So, come right here and string trim along this. Trying to string trim there, bless his heart. That's where we used to go. But look, look at all the stuff in the bank that we could get. And then, this is good, we can follow this line. And then we'll just mow us, what, we'll go along the mowed edge right there that's already mowed. And then give us a strip as close as you can to the forest. Well, you could do that tomorrow, I guess. Because you've mowed us a strip here. I think so. Arun's rolling up our wire. Jonah's string trimming our line. What are you guys doing? Climbing trees? Josiah and I will put up our net. We've got it around this area, but then we come here, and sure, we could maybe go around that log like Jonah's done. I think let's cut that log. Josiah's already started to cut this stuff back. I think for today we're going to run out of time, and we won't. Be, but that's cool about just like 
we get rid of perimeter fences and use the snap. Like today we can go here and next time around, if this is clear, we go there. Perimeters can change and just like that. Grass. It'll have grass. Yeah, it'll have it'll grass because you guys would have cut it now. All right, we got the log out of the way. Now at least we can go straight through. Josiah and Jonah switching off. Good job. Cut up all those logs. I think I'll mow a strip right here. And we can bring the net this much further over. I mean, that's one more, I don't know, that's 50 more pounds of grass. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, new territory. From the same metal and I like it. Maxing out what we've got. Wow, okay, we've got this set up. I really hope this works, because this looks nice. Imagine moving them out, mowing it, and then this net's gone. Like, no, no wires, no fence. It looks clouds. super nice. He doesn't like the crazy wires. Pat Ball would love it. He, he, he didn't like what he called the crazy wires. All right, we pretty much got it set up. It's milking time, but that's okay. I think we need to bring everybody down for milking time, and then, okay, let me give you some context. Let's turn around here. They're up in that field. We gotta come down here to the house to milk. And then from the house, we gotta come down this road to the pasture. So it wouldn't make any sense to bring everybody down the road to the pasture, then bring a couple of cows back to milking. All right, the boys have gotten the cows coming down. Right in here, honey. Right in here. We're not going into stanchion. All right. There we go. There we go. Good. Look at this guy. You down here for the milking today, buddy? You ready for some new grass? Just a minute. Well, just a 45-ish minute. Nice. Come on. Come on. Aren't you pretty? Aren't you a pretty thing? Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. See that poop. There we go. You're happy. Are you a happy one? Are you happy? Are you happy? It's good you're petting her. Getting her used to us. She's upset. That's okay, we're not gonna hurt her. Look at this score of milk. Three gallons. All right, so we've milked. I've got a temporary line here. If we're gonna eliminate our lanes, we gotta utilize our road a little bit more often. So I'm just gonna put up a little temporary line to get them, I don't know, so they don't go back up to the upper pasture and they make a left turn here at the road and head down towards that new pasture. I don't know if you can even see that, but I got a line across the road. I got a line across my parking area and I'm pretty sure this fence and that bank, I think they'll go straight down the road. We're gonna get everybody loose. You ready to go? We're gonna get everybody out. It's a little tricky with him here. I gotta get him going, but he's gonna wanna come in here and he won't wanna go without everybody else, but they won't go out if he's standing here. So I pushed him forward a little bit. Let's get Flossie. Come on, come on, come on, uh-uh, 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 uh We get Flossie going. We won't leave you, honey. We won't leave you, come on. Now this would be interesting with the calf, but if I can, because the calf can just roam wherever. She's not gonna obey the little dinky donk. One strand fence. Come on, this calf will follow mom, but hopefully the calf doesn't bust out enough to where mom wants to follow the calf. So, keep everybody together as best I can. Let's see if they go my guidance. So far, so good. So far, so good. Come on. Uh-oh, she's gonna go around it over here. There we go, stay on the road. Uh-oh, stay on the road. Hello, uh hello. -oh. Let's get back down. Oh good, this hedge kept her down there. All right, she's on a hedge, she's going the right way. Although she might be getting in the 
No, she's staying on the road. They don't actually like walking on the road. They do like stud muffin and get on the grass a little bit. We gotta keep Cass in line. Come on, come on Cass. Look, I think Flossie knows what to do. Nope, she missed. Ah. Okay, Flossie missed the gate right there and went straight up above it. Come on. There we go, Stud's got it, Stud's got it. He's eyeing it, he's eyeing it. Jonah's bringing up Flossie. They've been clearing for tomorrow. Okay, good deal. Woo! Back on grass. Yeehaw! I tell you what, <laughs> that feels so good. I haven't had them in one place for two weeks since a winter, maybe before or last. This feels good. This is right. Grass is recovered. Cows are happy. Something exciting has been happening while we've been doing that. I'm going to show you in just one second. You can kind of hear the clinging. My, my jaw, you can kind of tell I'm still swollen. I had surgery on Friday to prep for implants. I'm doing better today. I can bend over without a, a massive amount of pain going to my jaw, the blood rushing to my jaw, I guess. All right, let's see what to I'll show you what's going on down here. Randolph's got some poles in the ground. If I'm not mistaken, I think that Randolph's actually enjoying this one. How many hot tunnels have you done, Randolph? This will be the first of many. <laughs> <laughs> You're launching your career. You like it that much, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fun. I, I figured you were having some fun down here. Yeah, I'm hitting some big old rocks in here. How are you getting through them? I just keep beating. Okay. Like old John Henry, just keep beating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John Henry. He's got his Egyptian water level back out again. Yeah, I think he likes the challenge. Do you like the challenge or do you like that it's something different? I like it something different, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You're used to decks and carpets and yeah, this is the first yeah. kitchen rebuilds. Yeah. I believe we can handle it, though. Yeah, you're doing good. Randolph is crushing it down here. We crushed it getting the cows down here. Jaws feeling better. It's bright outside. Things are looking good for us. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we move the sheep into their spot. That's another cool thing about these nets. We set that up for the cows, but the sheep can use it tomorrow. And then the chickens the day after that. So anyway, see you guys tomorrow.